anybody can dig a rain garden. The question is, why? Puget Sound is polluted. It looks pretty, but it's polluted. And it's getting worse. What's the number one cause? Stormwater runoff. What's the number one solution? Stop stormwater runoff at its source. Keep the rain on site, right where it falls. Slow it down. Soak it in. Infiltrate it. Break down those hydrocarbons. Bind up those heavy metals. Let the clean water percolate down into the groundwater, just like it would in nature. Stormwater pollution starts here. Tar-based grit, toxic moss killers, zinc from galvanized nails. It starts here. Gunk from a warm engine, dripping oil leaks, grease, toxic antifreeze, tiny flakes of copper from your brake pad linings. It's sitting there on your driveway until it starts to rain. Then it all goes down the drain to Puget Sound. It starts here. A nice green lawn or too much fertilizer. Extra phosphorus and nitrogen from too much fertilizer runs off and you get big algae blooms in the stream, which robs oxygen from the water. Fish suffocate. Okay, so you need a plan. You have to figure out the right size rain garden to deal with the stormwater coming off your roof or your driveway. Sketch out the area, figure out how you want it to look. Disconnect the downspout here. Redirect the water over to here. The outflow goes there, just in case we get a really big storm. Dig the pit, bring in good soil, or mix the soil you have with compost. Select the right kinds of plants. Zone 1, wet feet. Zone 2, occasional standing water. Zone 3, plants that prefer drier conditions. Next, you have to test how well your soil percolates. Dig a small hole about 2 feet deep. Observe the characteristics of the soil. If it's sticky and smooth, you've got clay. That's poor draining soil. Not a good place for a rain garden. If it's gritty and crumbly, you have sandy soil. A great place for a rain garden. Fill the hole with a foot of water or so. Drop in a measuring stick and see how long the water takes to fully drain. Use a timer or something. A rate of less than half an inch per hour. That's not so good. You're going to have a soggy rain garden. And mosquitoes. A rate of half an inch per hour, or better, that means you have well-draining soil. The percolation test is a crucial first step. So, now you have a plan, and you've got soils that percolate well. You've bought the plants, you've ordered the compost. Go ahead and dig your rain garden. The benefits are incredible. Rain gardens reduce flooding. They keep sewers from backing up and overflowing. They reduce erosion in streams by infiltrating stormwater on site instead of rushing through pipes to add to the already swollen streams. Rain gardens provide habitat for native insects and birds. They filter out pollutants and they help recharge local groundwater. Make it really flat on the bottom there to get lots of ponding area. Mix in good compost. Same stuff you make when you compost your food scraps in the cafeteria. Build the berm. It looks nice. Now you can place the plants. Zone one, wet feet. Zone two, occasional standing water. Zone three, plants that prefer drier conditions. What's actually happening down there in the soil is kind of amazing. The plants control everything. They soak up the sun through photosynthesis in their leaves and use it to create chemicals that they then secrete through a tiny little zone at the tip of their roots the rhizosphere. This attracts all the right kinds of bacteria and fungi, which in turn attract bigger microbes like nematodes and protozoa. There's a billion, one billion microorganisms in one little teaspoon of healthy soil. It's the microorganisms that break down the pollutants and help the soil bind up heavy metals like copper, cadmium, lead, mercury, and zinc. The one we built is at a school, but you can build one at home. You can rally your neighborhood to install a whole string of rain gardens, a rain garden cluster. Here's a cul-de-sac in Kirkland, interconnected rain gardens. Here's the parking lot at Issaquah High School, one 
big rain garden. And here is the High Point neighborhood in West Seattle. The entire community functions like one big rain garden. 